A sting operation involving golf carts? That's what it's come to in one part of Lee County where homeowners have been consistently complaining about such thefts and law enforcement's now trying to crack down. The latest suspects, this 18-year-old Austin Fickeyes and then 20-year-old Lucas Ivy now facing multiple charges including Grand Theft Auto. Four in your corners, Jillian Idle live in the newsroom shedding light on this growing crime trend in North Fort Myers. Jillian? Well, Patrick, Amy, Lee County deputies caught the two men stealing a golf cart from the parking lot of a grocery store in the Suncoast Estates neighborhood. It was all part of an LCSO undercover sting to put an end to a growing crime, one they say is going up during season. Take a look at this cell phone video. Shot the night, deputies busted the two golf cart thieves. The girlfriend of 18-year-old Austin Ficacine says she started recording when LCSO deputies were putting her boyfriend in handcuffs. Earlier that day, LCSO put a golf cart similar to this one in the parking lot of Laurel Lane Grocery in the Suncoast Estates neighborhood. Inside the cart, they left beer and tobacco. Deputies say they watched as Ficacine took the cart for a joyride before coming back to the store and picking up 20-year-old Lucas Ivy. You might be wondering, are these types of sting operations common? I reached out to LCSO. Hi, this is Jillian Idol from Fox 4. A spokesman told me they always perform these decoy operations going into the snowbird season. This time targeting a neighborhood they say has recently seen a lot of golf cart theft. I also stopped by the nearby Lazy Days Village to find out if they've experienced the same thing. The woman in the sales office didn't want to go on camera, but says there's been a few golf carts reportedly stolen in recent months in their community, but all have been recovered. LCSO plans to continue this same sting off operation at least as long as this crime persists. Live in the newsroom, Jillian Idol, Fox 4, in your corner. All right, thank you so much, Jillian.